doing a special treat. We are live from Edgemont Studios. I am the Duke of Edgemont, Donovan Sadiq, and I told you guys and I promised you guys we will uh, be doing something a little bit different. Election night has been going by. They're taking their time. Uh, we talked about loving the skin item, and we're going to go ahead and do an intro show and give you guys a little idea of how this show is going to play out, and then uh, we'll, do, we'll get an app. You guys can download it. Again, a show for uh, ladies to talk about relationships, elections, uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, don't forget Aja Smith. Go to AjaForCongress.com and uh, donate, volunteer, do what you got to do. And we're a big sponsor of hers to get her elected because I'm playing the long ball game and I need her to bring in some federal investigators and do some arresting around here. But uh, I'm going to give you guys your host. We have D. Coulter, who's a longtime uh, resident and rouser in the Inland Empire, and Tay Wilder, a, a military veteran, and not have two of the most opposite people sitting at the table. Uh, the only thing they have in really in common, other than being women, is children, so I would think that would be a great thing. But uh, you guys, go ahead and take it away, and I'll do all the special effects and all this stuff. And if you guys start bashing men, I'll jump in when that comes up. Well, so. I'd like to interview you first, since you are the uh, okay, creator of this show. What right. was your inspiration behind loving the skin I'm in? Well, after bash Donna Jimson and uh, Denise Fleming, I got a lot of uh, back flack on that because people are saying, "Well, you know, what have you done for the community and all this other stuff like that." Uh, I said, well, you know what? I really thought about it. Other than doing almost uh, $400,000 in street repairs, mm-hmm. Adrian Mitchell, you know, putting on debate so people know the issues of what's really going on. Wow, I haven't really done much. <laughs> so uh, I said, you know what? That's a fair uh, thing. I'm going to do something that's really important. We have a lot of single um, families now because that is the nowadays. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a good thing. It's just the reality of where we're at. So since women are now leading, you, you're more than half of the uh, workforce, you guys got a lot of issues you guys are dealing with. You know, raising children, uh, working. Some of us that don't work, that's an issue within itself. Some women that don't work and live off the system now that Trump is coming in. The end of the world is happening, according to some of them. And I said, well, you know, you know let's talk, talk about it. Uh, and basically, if you saw The View and all this, the real, mm-hmm. this is what I said, well, we need something to talk about on a local level. Okay, let's wrap. Yeah, yeah, let's ratchet. No, let's talk about the local level and the real world, not mm-hmm. what you see on TV. And that's why I started it. So then basically uh, the target, um, market, well, I guess it's for everybody to listen to, but you're really right. trying to appeal to women. Yeah, it, it really appeals more, most, more so to women. But if, if a man is truly smart, he is going to listen to what you guys are saying and learn. So I agree. So that's a smart man to listen to women. Yes, <laughs> very, very much so. So and actually, you, do what we yes, say. Yes, yes. Now I'm, I'm telling you. I mean, you know, p- you know, you know. People say I'm kind of, you know, a little extra and stuff like that. But I'm not a stupid man. Like I said, I do listen. A lot of a majority of my w- uh, friends are women, mm-hmm. and um, beautiful women, by the way. And um, I listen to them when it comes to you know relationships and you know what I need to do as a man to you know be successful. Okay, so. You know, I know you, you want us to moderate the show, but since we have you here as yes, a man, sure. Because you know, me and you talk about this quite a bit. You have a lot of, I don't say you have a lot of issues with women, but you yeah. have issues with women. I do. I do have issues with because, and and the reason why is that it's not because I'm like, you know, I do believe in the Ike. That is true. Okay. And we talk about the book of Ike. Yes. If it wasn't for Ike, Tina would not be as successful as she is, and she's married to a Norwegian guy now. She lost her U.S. citizenship and she left. But, but but the point is, I'm a traditionalist, and people get get it confused when I say that. Okay, so I, I think yeah, I would say you, you summed it up pretty well. Now, I also yeah. ask you because you talk about women as women that instead of talking about things that we don't do, do, tell us the things from as a man. What would you like to see? What would be your ideal woman? What, how would she speak? How would she? What would be your ideal woman? Okay. I'm, you know, yeah, that's a very good question. I'm going to be honest with you guys since we're on this show. Be honest, keep it real. Yeah, I'm going to keep it real. I I really like ratchet women. I really Describe do. Ratchet. I've noticed that. Um, <laughs> well, when I mean like like ratchet women, I mean like when I was coming up, like those are the fun girls. You can go out and just dance and you know do your thing, and it was no big deal. You didn't have to uh, meet these goals. What? What does a ratchet look like? Well, a, a ratchet. Or sound like? Well, a, a ratchet girl now isn't what uh, what we call bad girls back in my day, okay. fly girls back in my day. Uh, you know, uh, it's just those women that you know. I 
the women that I don't like women that have tattoos all over their body like mm-hmm. a stop sign but you know some women no 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 I mean if, if they're good they're good because yeah, you about to catch it no 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 <laughs> I mean uh, Tay Tay has tattoos it isn't on her face no god no. it isn't on her neck no god no it isn't on her chest I have them too yeah no no exactly yeah, exactly exactly that's what I'm saying I don't mind it I just mm-hmm. don't want the women that have this uh, Wonder Woman thing all across their breasts <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, I hate to be funny, but you know what I'm talking about. No, I get it. But you know, I like those girls that are just you know they're with it, they're about it. You know, you you you're in the moment. I like those women okay, that are about so the moment. Okay, so next, would you marry a ratchet? No, never, never. Those are the fun girls. Yeah, they're the fun girls. You don't bring those home to mom. No, never, never. They're just there to have fun, and you go about your business. So she, so then a ratchet is not your ideal woman. No, no, no. You said, well, it's not my ideal woman to marry. No, no. But she's your ideal for a fun time, right? Okay, that's so today. Guaranteed. Right. Ultimately, who is going to be Mrs. Donovan Sadiq? Oh, good question. Ultimately, who's going to be some? Okay, somebody that I, I would look for as an that I think is like beautiful. Uh, Inside and out. God, it's kind of hard because you don't know. Really, I don't really know this person's uh, personal life, whatever, whatever deals. I'm but, not saying you need to know her specifically, like Miss Betty Jo. I'm saying as a representative. Right. Um, if this you can go. This woman emulates right. what you're looking for. Build a woman. Build right? a woman. Build a okay, bear. okay, uh, uh, okay. She has to look. I would. She would look like. Um, okay, let me stop you. Build a bear. I have to build, build a, bear. a bear. My daughter was a okay. child. All right. Okay, so you in build a bear. You get the stuffing, which is yes, the inside. The inside. And then you got to dress it, and you I, don't have to right. some character. Okay. So that is you're building. Okay. Now. Okay. The, the inside, I, I would want her to be a very a big mother. Um, very smart, very intelligent. And mm-hmm. so I, I would have to say she would have to have a mind like, uh, uh, I, I, I would say maybe the vanity's an airhead. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I want her to be intelligent. Okay, so let me stop you. And okay. I'm not trying to put you on no, your show. No, yeah. another show, the hot seat. Put me on the hot seat. But this is the problem. Oh, this is where I see there's a problem with a lot of men. men. And, I, and, and I'm not trying to take over here, you know, jump in and take. A lot of men will say they'll spend a lot of time. Ah, she's this, she's that. She has a hair hat, which is mm-hmm. a weed. Mm-hmm. Um, she's terrible. And mm-hmm. She's a ratchet. But then when you ask the men, okay, they what is your that. ideal right. woman? They have Who, no idea. Well, well, okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna give you a, a good, a good picture. Have you heard of the uh, the artist called Guapa, Guapale? Yes, yes. She's beautiful. Beautiful, natural hair. She doesn't mm-hmm. have any hair on her head. Well, she had locks. Yeah, locks. Yeah. She had locks beautiful for a while. Beautiful locks. Uh, beautiful voice. The way she looks, perfect for me. But see, I don't know her person. I don't know her background. Right. Like I said, Halle Berry. You could say Halle Berry. But, but we, we know, we she know crazy. she's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, she has problems. So I really can't say that. But I'm just saying, if you're looking at looks and stuff, I want somebody like that. Aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically pleasing. Guapalea natural. or yeah. Halle Berry. Well, no, I don't want Halle Berry. I want a girl that's natural like Halle, but pretty. Okay, so we got the outside taken right. care of. We want you a natural looking woman. Sure. Now... Inside. What is, what is she about inside? Inside, she has to be uh, nurturing. She has to be caring. She has to be giving. Um, I said, uh, would Mother Teresa be too much to? No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Would, she, would, would she have to be, because I know as you say, you're mm-hmm. a traditionalist. Mm-hmm. Would she have to be okay with you being the total head of the household? No, it doesn't have to be. She just has to be somebody that knows, here's her, her role. role and here's my role. That's it. Okay. That's it. Nothing. I mean, it's, it's, it's really so simple. That people make it complicated, and it's really not. And I agree with you on that because, in some respects, I am a traditionalist. My mm-hmm. parents, grandparents, all that stuff. My grandmothers, my mothers, my aunts, they had their lane. My mm-hmm. grandfathers, my dad, um, my uncles, they had their lane. Right. And right now, because I've been divorced, what, seven years? Mm-hmm. It's very hard. Even my ex-husband still wasn't that traditional. He didn't do the man stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was handling the man, and ultimately, with me having to handle the like my car would break down, I would be right. the one. And I'm like, but why are you here? Right. So ultimately, in you know, over the five and a half years we were married, I looked at him and said, "This just isn't what I want because I want, you know, my you want dad, a man. I want a man, and unfortunately, I have so many wonderful men in my family. Right. You know, he that can't live up to that. Bar right, that so bar. high. And a lot of men will have, take issue with that because uh, I'm like you. I, I grew up watching my mother and father, as you would say, Don, play roles. I that is what I know. But a lot of men will say, and I've seen this discussion a lot. Mm-hmm. Well, who says I have to change the 
tired. Where is there a rule saying I have to mow the grass? Well, And that's what I don't understand because everyone talks about gender roles. And now we're to the point where the gender roles are, 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 has been are beating. Well, what it is is you have this minority of women who are speaking for the majority of you. And us men don't know what to do. Do I open the door for her or do I not open the door for her? You know what I mean? And I'm always telling you, I want you to always be the I'm man. Joking. I will not emasculate you in any way, shape, or form. That's not helping anybody. Right. But I want you to step up and be that man. Right. I should not have to step up and be and show you how to be a man. True. Absolutely. I shouldn't have to. You know, as you guys, D, as you know, and stuff like that, I am a traditional. I mean, some, you know, my mom was talking about in, uh, in Dallas. She goes, well, I don't know where you get your chauvinistic ways. I said, mom, it's not chauvinistic. It's what you taught me to be to be a man. My role is this. As you guys know, I put in my kitchen. No problem doing that. You know, I have a mechanical background. Uh, if my woman had a car, it's my job to maintain her car. Uh, inside the house is her job. She wants to do here. I used to have mauve carpet because my wife at the time wanted mauve carpet. Yeah, did I like it? No, but I didn't say anything because it's that's her dwelling. Right. That's my dad. You know what I mean? So, it, you know, yeah, it was terrible, but it was. Well, what could I do? My dad would be like, I don't want all this fancy shit. Yeah, you know? <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. So, I mean, you know, so people, they kind of get it confused and thinking like, well, he's so chauvinistic or whatever the deal is. No, I'm, I'm so simplistic. If you just, and I... Uh, you are a very simple person. Yeah, I mean, you know, and I hate to be very graphic, but what's that old saying a lot of women used to say? Feed them, fuck them, and... Yeah, I've actually heard a lot of men say that. Yeah. We, we're pretty simple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't... That's it. We're not going to stray too far off the grid. Not too far. If you want a Mercedes, I'll get your Mercedes. Right. But I don't want a Mercedes. Right. You know, I want a truck or, you know, whatever I want to do. Whatever she wants, she does that, the kids and stuff like that. I don't believe in bringing home half the loaf. I bring. I believe in bringing home the whole loaf. That's why I'm the man. Mm-hmm. I'm bringing home, and if I'm bringing home the whole loaf, there better be, you know, you better put some butter and bread and whatever mm-hmm. else you're going to do on there. That's exactly like the reason why, um, I mean, Yeah, I you put me on the spot. No, you put I me on the spot. Well, I apologize. <laughs> no, that, no, that's fine. That's but good. a lot of times you do hear men say, "I want a good woman," right? Or there's not a lot of good women out there. But mm-hmm. then you ask them, "Well, what's a good woman?" Right. right. But immediately, and I think probably because yeah. men are just visual creatures. Yeah, we're visual. She's mm-hmm. got to look like B, C, and right. D. Okay, great. She's she's got to have ratchet. Big, right. She's yeah. Have big boobs. Boob, right. Big boobs. Well, looks fade. So then what? Well, what are you going to be left? Well, 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 D. I don't. I don't mean to brag. When we were younger, you know, I was known to have some very beautiful. women you were, yeah. Uh, I, I, nice, I shapely, witness. whatever yeah. it is. But when I got married, my wife was six one, about what one ninety, maybe two hundred ten pounds. Which, you know, no shirt because no. I think she's gorgeous. No, gorgeous um, woman. But when I saw you with her, I'm like, okay, because I'm used to right. seeing you with the young, modelish, right? Hair yeah, blowing. Yeah, exactly. Well, it was a weave, and I, but yeah. you know, they had their stuff together. And then mm. when I saw her, I was like, wow, she's an everyday okay. woman, woman, which was shocking to me because mm-hmm. I knew be on the other side of that right no no and uh, like i just said she could cook she cooked every day Mm -hmm. she never said no when it came to the bedroom Mm -hmm. never said no she she played her role you know to a point so we started getting Mm -hmm. a thing but basically she was everything that i want not visually i mean you could be halle berry beautiful again crazy but more but what i've noticed is and maybe it's the younger generation that that's what they will put up with they yeah. can put up with the crazy because she's bad. Yeah, and no, I'm like, no, I'm not up with that. I don't understand. That's that. where the book of Ike comes in. Just like um, I went on the book of Ike. <laughs> <laughs> right. book of Ike yes. Eat the damn cake. <laughs> I went on a date with a young man. Mm-hmm. A young man being forty four. Okay, right. I'd be thirty nine this month. Yes. Whatever. And he told me I was too ambitious because I'm in business school mm-hmm. and I work full time. Sure. And a lot of people don't believe that I'm in their face, but I'm like, I, I have the receipts. Mm-hmm. Oh, are you like a secretary? Hell, no, I'm nobody's secretary. So, too ambitious. So, what, what was ambitious. he looking for? Mm-hmm. And that's what I said. You want, you want, you said you wanted somebody educated. I am one that is in school trying to, you know, improve my education, and that's too much. What he was really saying is, you intimidate me. Yes. Um, I, maybe he came to the table thinking, we were a secretary, so then when we told him no, I run the show, then he maybe his mind felt like, okay, damn, how can I compete with her? Like, mm. well, you ain't supposed to You're not supposed to compete with, compete with me. With right. me. But maybe that's what he's You're supposed to compliment right. one another. Right. Well, you know, and I still come home and I cook sure. dinner and play mm. video games. Or if he's home first, things. he should cook dinner? No. Well, I mean, you know, no. if, he, if, he, if he's. No. You don't, you don't I, think I'm that? Her. No. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm gonna Stay out my kitchen. Okay, no. well, if that's the agreement you guys got. And, and for, unfortunately, I've being the mother of boys, yeah. I've had to teach my how to cook. Yes. But they know. Like my kids for Mother's Day, they made me breakfast and they made mm. me lunch and they made me dinner. And I felt so bad because I'm like, this is not your lane. Right, right. This is, but I have to teach them those life skills. But I don't know. Mm. That's that's my lane. That's where I find my joy. I love being in my kitchen. But Stay to out. her point, is like, while the kitchen is mine, you as a man, you should know how to cook. Right. Because, you you know, maybe take you a while before you get a woman. And these poor kids nowadays. Right, top on I, I just wish luck because I hear a lot of younger men actually say, Women don't cook anymore. They don't. They don't know how to that's cook. That's why. That's cook. why men are talking. Talking about. I'm going to my mama's. In. But then you get into the argument with a lot. I've had this discussion with women. Well, that's uh, sexist. Who says that the woman needs to cook? We don't live in that day and age anymore. I'm like, well, honey, I'm them look up. Have too, them go to the right? library. You can order it on Amazon. The book of Ike, my life story. <laughs> I You're turn right. it. Uh, I have the DVDs. Yeah. <laughs> right. I have the you know, you know, you know, this, you know, this is his side of the story. Okay. Right. My, so. I guess because I was raised in such a traditional, you know, my parents, be, my mom, my dad, mm. um, my parents have been together. I'm 30, be 39. My parents celebrated the 37th wedding anniversary mm. uh, last month. Wow. Um, my parents started from the bottom together. Mm-hmm. Where they were both, you know, my mom started the beautiful at the bank, my dad worked at Hughes Aircraft, right. and now they're at a point, where, and, you know, my parents had their struggles. Right, but, they but money doesn't matter now. Mm-hmm. And, it, and for them, money doesn't matter anymore. And mm-hmm. they go on vacations, they do all these things, and I listen to my parents, and especially when I was married, you know, because I don't go to single people for advice. Right, now, you, mm-hmm. you're the you oldest. Maintain, in your, your I'm the oldest. oldest. Okay, gotcha. um, so when I. Before I even got married, I talked to my parents. I talked to my grandparents. I talked about it because my grandparents, my mom's parents, were together eighty something years. Wow, Lord. you know, <laughs> <laughs> they met when they. But again, they we're talking about early, you know, nineteen hundred mm. Alabama. Wow, okay. Mm. So we're talking about a different where you know yeah. people had tons of kids in a three room shack, and mm-hmm. that's what my grandparents. On the twenty first since later, it was seven kids in a three in a three bedroom house right and you know they made it work they made it work mm. living below their means yes right my grandmother holds, or being realistic she right. held the purse and she was like look mm-hmm. and, you know everyone's gone through their mm. struggle but these what i'm starting to notice is there's this trend where people are in relationships are becoming disposable yeah where people aren't willing to work very true so and there uh, there are some things in life you cannot work through in my opinion mm-hmm. physical abuse right i don't Mental I abuse. I don't think you stay right. around for that. But, oh, well, you know, I hear like, a, oh, well, you know, he just got on my nerves because he did X, Y, and Z. You know, he did the guy for six months, you know, mm-hmm. and we broke up because he was living above his means. And I'm like, you're not going to drag me down with that. Not the baby That's why he was dating you. Okay, he so saw- let me ask this thing. <laughs> to, your, to piggyback off of your point, you said there's some things you, don't, you can't work through, like mm-hmm. um, abuse and all of that. What about infidelity? Being that this happened to me personally, and I'm a witness to, I will say absolutely not. Well, here's my thing: um, if you're married and you enter into that institution of marriage, I believe it's sanctioned by God. No matter if you got done at the courthouse mm-hmm. or the little church of uh, Las Vegas, it doesn't or the matter. little white wedding chapel right. in downtown Las right. Vegas, right? Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You made a commitment because you're saying I'm only sleep with this person right. for the rest of my life, and if you can break that, then everything else is off the table. So well, you to just- me. You just eliminated one of right. the foundations of your marriage, right. which is trust and honesty. Right. How because can you, how because can you do that? because even when me and my wife were going through little struggles and stuff, we were still having sex because you know. Right. Now we in the same bed. Well, well, like, no. Well, well, yeah. Why I mean, not? We might as well. <laughs> right. <don't laughs> make it. Well, well. You, you know I what mean, mean, since we're here, yeah. well, you know, like I said, you know, uh, the funny thing about our thing was it wasn't a financial problem. It wasn't. It was a uh, the way we saw things. Mm-hmm. But like I said, she she still did her duties as a woman to me and I to her. That right. wasn't the problem. The problem was, you know, she's stern on what she was doing and I'm stern on, on what mm-hmm. I'm doing and whatever it was. And that's what I mean by being traditional. There are some things, infidelity, you to be your life partner. You're supposed to trust this person with everything. Now, if you're going to go out there and have sex, number one, first thing that I think of as a man, you're putting nothing in danger. Okay. 
Okay, no, I'm, as a woman, number one. Just as a woman, right? right. Yeah. You know, number one. So. And I just don't believe in community penis. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't think that anything is. I don't think. Hey, what community about property. it was a mistake? I'll never do it again. No, you made a conscious decision in my opinion. Uh, you know, you know, put it like this. And I always, I mean, D, D and even you, Tay, we always talk about this. You know, I get so tired. Of and you know, being in the military, remember, I, 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 I tell you all the time, D, military people, we don't operate in gray. Mm-hmm. Eat on drugs, but. It but is it, or it, Yeah, it, yes mm-hmm. or it's no. Okay, so I just, I, I just can't buy that. I just don't think you slip. An accident is right. oh, I slipped and failed. You don't slip and fall and slip into somebody's genitals. It just doesn't no, happen. I agree, but you know, you have people say, I, I made a mistake. I right. was drunk. Or, I was, or, no. or yeah, they blame on the alcohol or they get on their. My dad was a uh, Rolling Stone, so I, you know, no, no, no. because that's you make a, it. You know what, speaking not to cut you off, yeah. that's a topic that I want to talk about. That's and your show? No, no. Huh? Anywhere. Yeah. Papa was a Rolling Stone. Yeah. You know, and, and to me, that, that that's BS because you make, a, as an adult, you make a decision of how you want to live your life. And if you want to, now, if you think Papa was a Rolling Stone, Papa's out there with no living. Is that what, is that what you want to well, do? Well, you know, and I guess I could talk about it now. Mm-hmm. We're all over the place here. Sure. Okay, so the other day, I was, I mean, we've all heard Papa Rolling Stone a million times. Boom. <laughs> right, which well, that's the <laughs> longest intro in the world. <laughs> yes. okay. It's 47 well, so, minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was listening to the, just like, really listening to the lyrics. And I said, you know what? There it is. That is the problem with a lot of women. And just, you know, I just put out mm-hmm. there being a black woman. Mm-hmm. I'm not, no shade to black men. I love mm-hmm. black men. My daddy's black. My man is black. No, Mom your man ain't black, black, but go ahead. Trust me, <laughs> my man is black. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, a little light bright, but go ahead. Uh, no, he's just having an election gathering. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, if you listen to the lyrics of that song. Mm-hmm. Just brought him up. Listen to all of the stuff the dude was doing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, so no wonder, and, that, and that's a true story. It I is. It is a true story. Wrote that song and uh, sang no, no, the song. Feel. True story. Mm-hmm. That was the the plight of a lot of women out there. Mm-hmm. I got your babies. You run in the streets, chasing women and drinking. You know, that's mm-hmm. what they, how they say. <laughs> you doing all this stuff, but I'm here holding it down, and not only that, I'm lying to the kids about what, what you're doing. What you're doing, mm-hmm. so they don't see you in a bad light. But see, you know, I, I, I will, my grandmother did the same mm-hmm. thing, and both of my grandmothers did the same thing. My grandparent, my granddad, you know, was college. He was doing mm-hmm. all these things, but you never knew, right? You, my mom was like, I never knew because my. My mom kept it so quiet. She mm-hmm. sheltered us kids from mm-hmm. that trauma. And, even and, I, and rightly so. Because it's not the kid's problem. That's his problem that right. he needs to work out. But it's just one of those things where now we have the baby. Did you see? Have you seen these shirts where it has a picture of the dad? And have you seen him? I think that's a mess. And they yes, the dog in a sow. Every and, chance and they and get. They, yeah, the dog. And I'm like, but when you have. Okay, my oldest son's dad's nowhere in the picture, never sure. in the picture. I will never talk bad about him mm-hmm. because I was an adult when I had sex with him. I knew who he was. I made Did you have decision. sex with him or, did you, or were you guys making We love? were in a relationship. Okay, that's We were in a relationship. I was 19. He was 38. The age Woo! Was to do. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. That's a lot of experience. <laughs> but he didn't look 38. Right, you know, right. Because if dad way. found out, dad would have been on that... Well, them hands right. <laughs> and my uncle was two hours less than an right. hour and a half away mm-hmm. so it was just one of those things where um but i made that decision. decision i had a baby with a man that i knew i shouldn't have had a baby with but i'm not gonna sit up here and talk about, oh he a deadbeat he's this he's that he's that and the other that's not my ch- that's that's, that's real. i'm not gonna do that to my child so moving into that is a segue for this time mm-hmm. <laughs> do you see how hot this show is do you my see how hot it's gonna be mm-hmm. what do you guys think about Father's Day gets it's no Father's love. Day's, I'm happy Father's Day to me because yeah. um, I'm the mama and No. Ball. No. Ball. Because. You're going to see it. Yeah. You're going to see it. And you're going to see it. I, I have, uh, I, I put on Facebook a little disclaimer like I do before mm-hmm. Veterans Day, before Memorial right. Day. Um, I am a mother. I am not a father. My children have a father. There mm-hmm. are male influences in my children's mm-hmm. life. Thank the man. Don't thank me. My right. day is Mother's Day. And that's, that's it. it. And that's how you're going to see it. Yes, you're going to see I am, it. I am not a father. Well, you know, I, uh, no like I said. Which way you cut it? Yeah. I'm not, I'm, no, I'm nobody's daddy. Yeah, I have thought this is going to be a hot show because it, just, just talking right now, you can go in so many different directions. 
And you know how I feel about the, the legal system and the justice system in regards to black men in, in family court. Uh, I think, I, no, they statistically, uh, a, little bit, a little bit more than an eighth of all black men that are in the judicial system has to deal with child support. And you know that's probably going to be another. Well, why? Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying there's well, the man. Yeah, not, that I'm yeah. not saying. No, no, because I, I, I honestly do agree. If you mm-hmm. can work it out without putting the man, as they would say, right. in the system or in, in you right. should. But there's a lot of factors. Well, to that. yeah, there's a lot of factors yeah. to that, and it, and it deals with especially. I, I put a lot of responsibility on the men. Yeah. Number number one, but as a modern person who has an aeronautical degree, how are women ending up pregnant in the modern age? That's you know I know there's. I'm about things, to say because you know there's this male and this male part. Yeah, no, you know? no, but, but 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 what I'm saying is, but birth control is 100. Yeah. percent No, it isn't 100. percent But if you're making that man do his, mm-hmm. the numbers don't make sense. 70 percent of black women aren't married but have children. 70 percent. of yeah. black yeah. women are not married and have children. But I think we have to look at. It, it, it is twofold. It's a man, mm-hmm. and it's a, mm-hmm. we have to look at one who we're having children with. Who we, that not is even, me. but not even who we're having children with. Who are we spreading our legs for? Right. And then right. what when you do spread your legs to someone, you have the possibility. It's a fifty-fifty. You can have a baby with this. So is this person right going to be someone that you can look at and say, you know what, this is going to be a great. Dad. Well, you you, you, you you open the door right there. I'm, I'm going to tell you something real quick. Now, now, D knows that I was popular back in my day, or whatever the deal is, right? I had my little Jerry Curl. You couldn't stop that because she was going to Ramona to get her man. Like I sent you a Jerry Curl. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yes, I did. I did. Uh, Ice Cube, Easy E, all yeah, of us, ready for that. the world. Um, but you know, she was running after her man over at Ramona. Oh, you. And um, when when I was dog women and actually utilizing the Book of Ike. You know, for its knowledge and stuff like that, women loved me. And but, there's a lot of women that still love that. Yeah, yeah, but but when I became an educated person, goal oriented, I mean, it's like, oh, he's a square, or he's this, or he's because now you're a man that's going to actually set expectations on that woman. Uh-huh. Back then, you didn't care what she did. She right. Could be, right. You know, it was just a collecting cans for a living in yeah. a mini skirt. Hit it, quit it, I'm out. Well, look at what what's cute right now are the Instagram models and the Snapchat models and where are these girls Booty are, models. Where they're half naked. Objectifying their women. Ooh, this right. is Kim Ooh. Kardashians yes. and all these other fun things. And I'm saying, Wait till Bill gets in. You guys are flocking to these girls. No, 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 not not this brother, but I know what you're saying. No, I'm just saying. No, 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 no I'm saying these guys are, oh my yeah. God, bashy, bashy, Thirsty, bad. thirsty. But then, Hi, mama. you will wife these women, have babies with Jeez. these women. And then it'll all fall apart, and you sing, "Oh, woe is me!" Right, I'm in the system and all that. The Ti and Tiny. Yeah. The, oh my oh, God. Now this is okay. Now you're being the man here. Okay. Okay. And you know how many times I've had this discussion or seen this on my timeline as far as he upgraded. No, he didn't. He upgraded. No, he didn't. Well, there's any upgraded because she looks better. I'm saying, hold up. This one, her eyes changed. Me looking, no, no, it's tiny. <laughs> tiny Jack. That's, that's a whole, whole different you know. story. Um, so she upgraded because she looks better. I said, maybe he dropped an asset and got with a deficit, right? Because Tiny, cute. she's when, a Grammy winner. She's no, when publishing. Tiny, when Ti was broke, and right. Tiny, yes, she did. Tiny quit her music career, career yep. right. to not only raise. The children they have together, right. his, but his his, his kids. Baby. Right. When he got in trouble with the law, she stood by his she side. Stood she by him. took the, the rap for one mm-hmm. of them. So where's this that ride or die chick? Why can't okay, I find her? That's what I'm saying. Not men to Tay's point about men looking Wait, at she, women. They're ganging up on me. <laughs> she, they, she's an upgrade, and I'm gonna ask me why. That's not oh, an upgrade. She, she, she looks now, good. Well, now let me ask you this: What kind of men are you? Are you? Ask, are you? Are you asking this, the street thug? Or are you asking I'm, the square? I'm, I'm, I'm seeing men from all walks of life justify that. Yeah, I don't, uh, she I don't, looks better. I, I don't think so because, I, like I said, you know, like I said, I'm a traditionalist. So once I make my my decision, I've been married twice. I never left my marriages. In, in either, and I did get divorced on infidelity. When I got divorced, my mom even came here and asked her, "Is he beating you? No. Is he cheating on you?" No. <laughs> is he a good provider? Yes. Uh, does he come home on time, given my military schedule? Yeah. Mom, you know what mom told her? What the hell's the problem? What are we she wasn't having, she wasn't her way. It ain't right. 
rough it ain't right. Right. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, or something. Because my mom was like, you know, I'm a traditionalist, and I, I, I'm not an ogre. I do believe in the book of Ike. But you saw my wife. She was bigger than I was. I'm not saying she whooped my ass. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, you know, I'm like, hey, you, you long as you let me be a man to the my knowledge, don't tell me how to be a man because you're not one. But so. I think a lot of people are attracted to the drama. I don't fuss, I don't fight. Yeah, I'm not into that. I'm about. not into that. I did that. I, I've learned that I don't need yeah, when I was to younger, have a relationship to do that. Bitch, I'll, I'll knock you out. <laughs> Before I got into my wonderful relationship that you guys will see on uh, the sickening. Uh, Hallmark card. Sickening. I, I, came across, I can't wait I, for the fall. No, it ain't gonna D- be no fall. D will be back, y'all. D will be back in California. <laughs> Give it, yeah, wait. Right. She'll be back with it. No, I'm not gonna no, but shut anyway, on you. Al's a good I, guy. Before I met Al, I would come across a lot of men saying, "Oh, I want a, want a woman who's intelligent, who's this, mm-hmm. who's that, who knows where she's going, and those." And when they got close to being with somebody like that in me. Mm-hmm. That's the well, 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 don't get back to what they're used to. Right. Yeah. Well, don't get me wrong, B. I would, I would date you if you were uh, Walter's sister. <laughs> but if you were your little sister, that's a different ball game. Yeah, 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 that'd be a <laughs> My baby sister, unfortunately, is one of those Instagram. She's not putting her behind. No, no, but she's a beautiful no, girl. My beautiful sister girl. is a very beautiful girl. She's mm-hmm. twenty six. She's. You know, she's got curves and all this other fun stuff. My sister's a very beautiful girl, mm-hmm. but she is also young, mm-hmm. you know. Well, that's kind of what 26-year-olds do. Yeah, she, yeah she's, so. she's all up on the internet. You know, she's taking mm-hmm. this sexy sure, photos. Sure. And, like that. and posted a picture of me and her, but I was like, yo. And, I mean, mm-hmm. all these guys were inboxing me to get to my sister. And I was right. like, no, Or to get no. to you. So. No, no, no. It's, it's my sister. My see, see. If, if, because if, if I don't they, do that. See, I don't do that. See, I don't. That's like, why you, but the minute you did, your inbox will be blowing yeah. up. Yeah, and I tell people, right. I don't have to wear the low cut and the bikinis and show my ass and all this stuff. Mm. I don't do weaves. Mm. I mean, these are my nails, just for like overlay. I don't right. wear a lot of makeup because mm. when I you turn 50, mm. I don't want to fool look. nobody. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't have to wear a lot of, you know, take right. that all off. and like, whoa. Whoa, yeah, you know? who are you? <laughs> yeah. Right. Because that's what you see with a lot of people. Okay. I don't want my skin bad right. when I get older. Right. Yeah, why are these young girls have such bad skin? But so, you know, because they do Mega. all that makeup. They don't take care of their yeah. face. I do. I use that so, cheap makeup. I'm the same them. regime from what my grandmother told me. My grandmother was 78 when she died. Mm. And she had no wrinkles on her face mm. because she used ivory soap and oil of ole all the time. That's right. exactly what See, I do. See, now I, I look at people like Tay who are successful, got their stuff together. I mean, she's a retiree. Mm-hmm. Do you know how whatever. hard it is today? And, and that's what <laughs> I don't understand. On my, just, not mm-hmm. even somebody on my level. Right, right. Well, it's, they say water seats is on level. So a lot of men will say they want a woman like you, and but won't. when they sit across the table from you, it's like, uh, no, I don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's intimidated. intimidated by yeah, her. Yeah, it's intimidating. She's yeah. going to actually want me to live up to some real expectation. Right. I'm not going to be able to jerk her chain like I would, in your case, a ratchet. Right, you know, and just do whatever I want to do with her. She probably knows where she's going. Mm-hmm. You know, um, we have a colleague of ours that went through something some of that she's going through right now. You know, dealing with an older dude, and you know, she's going all out of her way, and it seems like he's taking advantage of her because of her youth and her, you know, not necessarily uh, her inexperience. In, in his case, he's just not a good guy, right? You know, and dragged her. You know, in my opinion, dragged her down. To, yeah, he's just she not was a doing, good guy. Yeah, uh, and it's, it's, it is an unfortunate situation. You know, but see, but this is why we we need shows like this because I mean, we can talk for hours one direction and go to the other direction. I mean, there's so many issues that are affecting uh, you women. But, but I think it's important to have you on the show as well as Shinji. Yeah, absolutely. Just because Women need to hear from a male's point of view what it is you guys actually want. Sure. Instead of Because we always hear what you don't want. Right. But where do we hear what you want? Right, right. Well, like I said, you got to be a lady in the street. And if, I mean, everyone want, wants that. That's why women are like, white women are like, you know. Well, you I said mean, it wrong. You, sisters, you, you, you guys hold it down too. But the difference is you guys just, we got to earn it. <laughs> we got to earn it. We do, well, y'all like to be out I'm going to say this too. You know, I love my people. I really yeah. do. Uh, black people. But I, I would say there's a lot of white women out there, in all fairness, that mm. will make you earn it well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Or make you pay for it later. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Right. I mean, I'm, um, you know, I'm not. But you know. my, my mother, my grandmothers, my aunts have always told me if you don't take care of your man, another hoe will. Mm. There, there it is. So, there it is. you know, she said, keep it fresh, keep it nice. Yeah. And she said, you don't have to sit up here and walk with your hair done 24-7 right. and make full, you know, a full beat on your face and all this stuff. And heels 24-7. Right. You don't have to well, do that. You know, that doesn't keep a man. You know, you know, the funny thing is now now that we're at, at, at this age, we're in the middle.
Middle Ages, and it's like I'm at that point to where you could. I just want somebody to travel with. Like I just went to this graduation. You know, here I'm. You know, a single uncle. Like, well, I should have my. You know, oh, there goes Uncle Ray, Ray, and Aunt, you know, and yeah. Aunt so and so. It's just, it's just really, really She's difficult. She's out there, Tom. She's, She's out. out. Oh yeah, no, no. I mean, you know, I'm, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not concerned about. It. Put it like this, and you know she me, D. Me on Snapchat no, right now. No, no, <laughs> no, and and, and 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 you know me, D. I know, I I, I know women in the porno industry mm-hmm. you know, and that side of the world. If I really wanted to get somebody, I will get her. Right. But you know, I'm looking for substance more so than what I see objectively. See, you know? now that's what I was asking you in the beginning. Mm-hmm. What are you looking for? I'm looking for substance. Yeah, substance. I'm looking for someone who actually has something right. in the stuffing. Like, you go to Build a Bear, what's in the stuffing? Right, right. What does she actually make? We know, you know, like your grandparents said, your grandparents mm-hmm. were married 80 years. 80 years, years, exactly. Looks going to fade in 80 years. Right, exactly. But the people inside are still the same. It's still the same. Yeah. And, and that before, like I said, you saw my uh, last wife. Uh, she wasn't, and everybody was surprised. Like, what the hell? Not that she was an ugly woman. She's a beautiful and woman. she's not, but just from what... I'm... Right. With the Instagram models. Yeah, I was with the models. Yeah, you know, soccer models. And 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 that's what I loved. I I loved about it. It was Mm -hmm. like her substance was good. But like you know, my mother, my you know, and my parents are really cute right now. It's really cute phase. You know, the kids are grown, so they're doing all these little cute little. And they still keep it cute. They go. Mm -hmm. My dad takes my mom on dates every week. Go ahead, pops. You know, I I can learn from that. he drives. My mm-hmm. mother never drives. When they're together, he mm-hmm. never drives. He always opens mm-hmm. the door for her. He does all these things for her. Um, but, you know, my mom says, you know, when they were growing up, you know, relationships, you know, but she said, when you know this is somebody that you want to be with and that's the person you want to be with, mm-hmm. and you grow and evolve together. Together. Right? And and then that just what makes you the strong couple that you are because right. you know this person's worth you know, you know each other's worth the struggle. Right, Every and you went through it together. Every relationship has the struggle, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but people think if relationships are easy. No, there's right. no aspect of this life that is easy. Not giving birth, not paying right. bills, not even put when we had AOL, doing the day. And there's no <laughs> part of this life that is that is just easy. Mm-hmm. So why people assume that relationships or raising children or hell, even make, going down out with going to Sprouts. It's ne- it's not it's ne- nothing's that easy. But if it's worth it, we work for it. Right. Um, let me ask you guys this. Let me ask you guys a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the the stereotypical thing of black women. Uh, watch house- now. I'm no, no, no. You know what I mean? The house- housewives of Atlanta, uh, basketball I don't wives. Watch. I don't watch none. Of I mean, that. all of that stuff. But a lot of people are watching it. Empire. I mean, it's a great show. Don't watch it. But you, you, you know what I'm saying? They, they put this light of. I mean, when you see these black women, grown black women, with pro- all this money, the fighting like they're in the streets. It's with, when it comes to Empire. It's a black man putting us in the light. Right. When it comes to housewives, of course, the Bravo franchise. Mm-hmm. So. Andy Cohen. And it's his highest rated right. show. Right. Out of all Atlanta, out of the house all the housewives. Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Um, when it comes to love and hip hop, again, mm-hmm. there's a woman that is that is the, the crazy black creator and the mm-hmm. producer of that show. And there's because who would date Stevie J? Be quiet. <laughs> um, there's people who would sell their souls for a check. We right. We're in Marino Valley. Mm-hmm. Yes, we see that right now. Uh. I personally would never want to. That's just not who I am. You see a lot of um, women, and even the younger girls. Um, I was recently working uh, at an after-school program a couple of days mm-hmm. uh, in junior high, and these girls, I'm like, who is raising these kids? Who? Moesha. No, I was shocked. <laughs> I mean, grandparents. Some girls, um, when I first met them, happened upon them, and they were calling each other. Bitch, bitches, mm-hmm. yeah. a seventh graders. You'd like it's cute, and I said, that's, and I was I, shocked. I've never looked at my girlfriends and be like, bitch. No, no I've no. never. That's how they refer to no. them. I've never. No. I asked them why, and they said, oh, it's just how we refer to each other. No, I'm, I'm sad. Why? Sad. Now, what, what, what brother would want to deal with that? And in all fairness, it wasn't just the black girls; it was all, all, all of, of the doing girls. that. Mm-hmm. It just, yeah, yeah. It was all of the girls. Now, now, I'm. I'm be stereotypical, but you really can't blame that on the men because the majority of the kids are being raised by the mother. Why, though? Why are the majority of the kids just being raised by the mother? Selection or a government check. We can go into that's a whole other show we can go I into. I ask men this because I hear that mm-hmm. a lot. I'm not saying it's right or it's wrong. But what on earth can any woman do to drive you away from being in the lives of your children? When well, the government 
it says you can't have this house if you have the father in there. Even if the says, like, now that these are my children, right. I'm going to be in their lives. You know, I might have to go to court, but there's nothing that when, would be able to I have, drive you away. I have a girlfriend, and she's Ecuadorian, mm-hmm. so there we go. But her husband's white, and they were together, and then they divorced. And she, to this day, they have been divorced. Their youngest has just graduated from high school. Mm-hmm. She has made his life a living, living hell. hell. A living hell. He, his new wife had to get a restraining order. The kids had to have. They had a restraint. When your own children have to take out a restraining order because you are making those lives living hell. And she does it, and she does it with glee. And you know, to Donovan's point, it's not just the sisters who do that kind of stuff. Right. I mean, I know plenty of other women who are just buck nutty. Right, but you know, you got to ask yourself this: Why is it? And this is where that phenomenon took off. Oh, I'm a strong. We we, we debated on D. I'm a strong, independent black woman. How are you? In, okay, the definition doesn't even make sense. If you're getting any kind of assistance, government or child support, you're not independent. Well, yeah, for those women who are on uh, social, health, whatever, whatever mm-hmm. the case is, yeah, you kind of can't be a strong, independent. You can be strong now. Right, you can be strong. But independent, yeah, no. that's, that's no. Uh, I, get, I get child support. I reduced my ex-husband's child support mm-hmm. because he doesn't make a lot of money. Well, well, well you, you're an anomaly. You, you did a... You're retired. You're retired. Well, my son's like retired, yeah. and he still has an MBA and works a ten dollar job, right. ten dollar an hour job. Right. So I reduced his shower because he was hurting financially. Am I a strong, independent black woman? Hell yeah! yeah. Because I don't need. I told him I don't well, need Joe coins. Well, 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 see, I have my own. See, see, but see, that's the difference, though. You, you're working right now. You don't even have to. No, you got women that are able bodied and men that are right. able bodied. They won't work. Where do they get that ethic? It's passed down. Exactly. It's Okay, for instance, my my grandmother, my dad's mom, she had three boys. Mm-hmm. Um, my Uncle Lou, my dad, and my Uncle Ricky. They all had children. My me, my, me, my dad's kids, we we work. Mm-hmm. You know, my sister went to school, raised three babies, the whole thing. My uncle, um, my uncle Lou, his wife didn't do anything. She was on welfare her entire life. Died on there. Mm-hmm. Um, children. One is is a teacher. The other two, yeah. Mm-hmm. My uncle Ricky, all of his kids in and out of jail or um, government assistance. Mm-hmm. So it, and that's a two parent household, right? So I think when we talk about oh, it's a sing- no, because no, no, it's a single right. parent. But what I'm saying it's is, where did that household. lifestyle, you know, where it's so prevalent, but and that and that that would be another story. It's it, it's, it's it's levels deep. to this. Yes, yeah, yeah, there's, there's levels, to, levels this. to it. But, it's, it's not just you know, and I, since you brought up black people, it's mm. not just black people who no. want to be on the system. Right, it is by design. Right, it's exactly. Systematic. What do you What do you I mean? I don't have no damn Obamacare. I have the ACA. And I think, <laughs> I think right now, I think it's there are more white people on public assistance. Oh, yeah, well, there are, well, yeah, well, well minor yeah, but you got to remember though that those numbers don't don't add up because uh, they are forty some forty three percent of the population, but we're only thirteen. Right. So right. of course they're going to be more of them than there are us because. We're the only population in 40 years that has not moved uh, population-wise. Well, so. and also uh, ending with Reagan who made that yes. the welfare queen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was actually demonizing the black Right, the black community, right. It was a specific black Who's a minority, yeah. yeah. So that's how that came about. So, but uh, this is a little taste of some of the stuff we're going to be getting into with this show, and I really enjoyed it. I mean, we can go into all kinds of areas. Yeah, but, and ask uh, people to send in questions. Yeah, please. You want to talk yeah. Uh, join us. Yeah. We have a chat side of uh, we put out the, 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 the hint in uh, Facebook so let you guys know where we're online we're going to have an app you guys can download that so you can check out the show but if you got something to say and uh, want to I got something to say what? I love Al <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Dee will be dealing with Al and all that other good stuff but there's so many topics that uh, we can talk about on this show why I started the show and that's why you guys are going to continue so you guys can maybe address some of these issues so uh, hopefully we'll look we'll look forward to another show uh, coming up very very soon And that's what we got.